Hey, what's up and welcome to one more episode of Cloud Careers. And in today's video, I want to ask you a question. Are you ready for the post-pandemic run on cloud? That's exactly what we are going to cover today. Ready? Okay, cool. Before we get started, please go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Enroll yourself on our YouTube channel if you're watching from YouTube. And in case you don't follow us yet on Instagram, please go ahead and follow us in there. It is the cloudbootcamp.english. That's going to be very awesome to have all of you over there. Okay, so on today's video, as I said, we are going to cover a very interesting topic, which is the post pandemic run on cloud. Everything started when I was reading a very nice article that was published by InfoWorld, which basically says get ready for the post-pandemic run on cloud. And that's caught my eyes because I was very curious to read and go through it and see what was the, the view of the writer or the article writer about this topic. And that was pretty interesting. If you want to go through this article after this video, you can do that. But I'll kind of summarize for you. So basically, the article writer is a friend of one person which is a CIO of a company. And that CEO was just explaining a few challenges that uh, he was going through during the pandemic times, right? Most of you know that in the traditional enterprise world, the companies are still managing their on-premises data centers, right? So basically the companies will have the data centers and will have the staff, a few workers available to do all the maintenance, all the parts replacement, everything inside of that data center, right? And that's uh, still a reality for many of the companies. And that was exactly what happened with the company which the CIO was leading, the IT and the infrastructure. And what happened in that company was that there was a outage or a physical issue, a hardware issue in the storage subsystem of that company. And when those kind of issues happen, that's very normal, right? So usually the vendor will ship the part to the data center and the staff will replace, you know, whatever part it is. Maybe it is a disk or, you know, a power supplier, whatever it is, right? Right? Usually the data centers, uh, you know, the corporate data centers will have the staff to do the replacement. If you think about that, right, during this pandemic times, many cities in the United States and across the world are having the lockdown. So people cannot go out except for, uh, you know, the essential business like the groceries or maybe they need to see a doctor, things like that, right? But on that particular city, they had a lockdown and they couldn't get any uh, staffers or, you know, uh, team members to do some part replacement. And that issue happened with a storage, a storage subsystem of that company. The CIO was, you know, telling the story about that. So what happened with that storage subsystem was one part of that storage, you know, just was gone. So that needs to be replaced. And then the problem was that the city was in a lockdown and the staffers, you know, they were not available. They couldn't go to the data centers and do the part replacement. And guess what? That that led to a huge outage. All the systems uh, were down, and uh, you know, unfortunately, that led to the company to lose millions of dollars. And you see how challenging those times are, even for the CIOs, right? So the CIOs, which are still dealing with the traditional data center, is still having to deal with all these kind of challenges, which are related to the lockdowns. But when you think about that, right? And the article moves forward saying that companies which are already in the public clouds, you know, don't need to worry about that and that makes sense right the virtual and ubiquitous reality of the cloud data centers make that possible because you know that the cloud data centers are fully redundant and then even if you have a huge outage in a particular region of the cloud provider for example um, in a particular data center of the cloud provider you still can like fail over to another region or to another data center so if you are well attached in the cloud it is very unlikely that that you are going to be in a complete full outage like this situation that the CIO was facing, right? So that's the beauty of the cloud. And um, that's why the article writer believes that that will be a post-pandemic run on cloud because many of the CIOs, many of the companies that are going through all these challenges during the pandemic, they will realize that, okay, maybe if my workloads would be in a cloud, in a public cloud, maybe those issues I wouldn't face 
face, right? Maybe those challenges I wouldn't have. So that's why, you know, I thought this article very interesting. I wanted to share with you guys. But not only that, and the article writer goes forward and says that one of the biggest challenges that those moves to the cloud environments or to, to the public cloud, one of the biggest challenges will be, you know, the lack of qualified professionals, lack of qualified cloud architects and cloud developers. I would even go further than that, right? Not only cloud architects and cloud developers, but all the technology professionals that today are working on on-premises technology will sooner or later need to work on the cloud technologies as well, right? So there is a huge challenge for the companies to find those qualified resources. And that's exactly where you can come in and, you know, and help those companies to start their journey to the cloud. I just wanted to do a quick pause in here to encourage you, right? I've, I've receiving a lot of uh, messages in the last few days, people kind of worried about the future, how the technology future will look like with the COVID, with the pandemic, people concerned about you know, losing the jobs. And then I just wanted to encourage you on this, right? The companies are moving to the cloud even during the pandemic and they will you know, continue doing that after the pandemic as well. And they are looking for resources to people like yourself that can help them to move to the cloud. So I just wanted to take a quick pause to encourage you to continue doing whatever you're doing, right? Specialize in cloud, learning more about cloud because there is a great opportunity out there for those who will be qualified. And then I just wanted to, you know, give out this message to you guys, you know, please continue doing whatever you're doing to specialize because there is a great future for cloud computing. All right. So cool. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, it was really awesome to share that view with you. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me your thumbs up. I would love to see your comments as well. Leave your comments here down below and let me know if you're seeing that your companies are going to start moving to the cloud or even if you're already in the cloud, let me know in the comments. I read all of the comments that you guys leave. So I will be very happy to go through all of them. All right. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.